What up everybody, it's your boy this is my sneaker head in the house coming with a brand new video. As always, before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell on the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. I will be doing a little spring cleaning on some of my kicks here um, that are a little dirty. And so I figured it'd be a good time to use this product that was sent to me. Now I did do an unboxing video for it. But unfortunately, I lost the, the footage. I don't know what happened, so I'm not gonna do a separate unboxing video for the material. I'm just gonna show you guys right now what it is. And with that being said, let's get right into it. This brand has been around for a while. A lot of people are used to it now. Everybody knows that I'm a Crep Protect fan. They sent me product two years ago, two and a half years ago, somewhere around there. I'll leave a video up there of my unbox, um, of my giveaway that I did for them. Um, of my te test of the protectant on them. I'll leave it up here so you can see it and click on it and check it out. They also later sent me the Cure, which is their sneaker cleaning product. Love that, I use that on all my kicks. Um, and so I'm a big, big fan of Crep Protect. So with this company, when they reached out to me and they said they wanted to send out some free product, I was like, sure, why not? And they've been around for a while, but we have here some tight wipes. Now this is the these are the wipes themselves, but they also sent me some cleaner. So big shout out to Tight Wipes for sending this out to your boy. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna test it on two of my kicks. Um, they also sent me individual pack of wipes, but they also gave me this, which is what I'm gonna test today. This tight wipe. Let me zoom in over here. This tight wipe sneaker cleaner. Now the cool thing about this is that. They said it could clean up to 100 brushes and the brush is attached and that this brush, you can use it on nubuck suede, cotton mesh, leather, on everything. So you wouldn't have to switch anything out. And I love the fact this is little travel size because you could just throw it in a bag, a sneaker bag or a book bag and that's it. So I'm going to be using this on the two shoes right now to see how it works. Hopefully everything turns out well because again, as you know, I'm a Crep Protect fiend. But here we go. The two shoes I'll be using the, the sneaker cleaner, tight wipe sneaker cleaner on will be the Kobe 11 Bruce Lee's. I wore them one time and it was raining and just off of the water droplets hitting the, uh, I stepped in a little puddle and it wasn't anything crazy but it landed on my shoe and as you can see there, there's this like bluish blackish area on here and then there's a smaller one on the left pair. I know it's a little bit hard to see but it's right there and a little bit right there. So I'm going to use it on these. Uh, my, my girl and I, we went to Jamaica two weeks ago. It was amazing. Stay tuned for the vlog. I had, we had about 700, 750 pictures and videos. So I'm trying to just go through all of it to do this vlog. It'll probably be a 10, 15 minute vlog, uh, vlog for you guys, but stay tuned for that. I ran into my boy Damn D as well on that trip. So he's a big time YouTuber as well. So it was pretty cool running into him, but stay tuned for that. And what I wore when we were coming back were the Grand Ann's New Balances. Man, and this is a nice nice kicks in uh, New Balance collab from 20, either 2013 or early 2014. But I absolutely love this shoe. As you can see, it's all suede, but um, on the toe box, some reddish material, reddish material or something got on it I have no clue how that happened and then on the other pair it's it's you could kind of see this there's a little bit of the red there as well so I'm gonna use the cleaner on these two so let's go all right guys so we have some water I got a microfiber towel so yeah let's test this out so yeah let's start with the Kobe's uh, also just dip it in some water and then push down on the red tip so you guys can see the red tip there as you can see we go here and you do the little circular motion there we go it's setting up really good Move these new balances out the way now this one i could be a little rougher it does say on here when it comes to like suede and new bucks and soft materials to gently use the brush but we could still use the most the, this brush that's on it which is pretty dope Let's see what happens here. It did take out the stain, but I want to see what happens when this dries. I know it's, it looks a little to see. It looks like it's all one shade, but since this is wet, 
the uh, the fly knit material is darker wet than it is dry of course so I'll let you know how this goes but hopefully it'll dry in the process but it did get that one little stain out let me do the other pair with the more prevalent stain see here huh well as you can see folks it took out some of it but there's still a good amount that right around the outsole now again this could just be because of this material uh, and how quick it absorbs but I still see I hope you guys can see that I know it's a little bit hard to see but you can still see uh, some of the the water or whatever that caused it to change color right there so but on to the new balances this is the one that I really want to test it on this is my suede these are all suede premium suede upper so I'm going to do the entire border here because it has this weird red uh, liquid it had this weird red liquid on it so let me dab it some more let me test it on this side first do a little bit on the out so so let's see here. It said to do it gently. So that's what I'm going to do because I don't want anything to happen to these bad boys. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. Know what I mean? So I'll let this dry and then I will come back once it's dry to let you know my final thoughts. It looked like it got the stains out, but I want it to dry first. Um, so stay tuned when it dries up. Come back, give you the final thoughts of the shoe. I'll do both pairs while I'm gone, but stay tuned. Alright, everybody, so we're back here. These kicks have dried. And my final thoughts on the Tight Wipes Cleaner is that it's a good cleaner. I wouldn't say it's the best. Um, taking a look at the New Balance here that dried, it's hard to tell. It did get the, the, the big red stains out, but there's still some discoloration and it definitely made the suede hard. So before, you look here, you got the buttery suede here. Like there was nothing done here. So you can see how it changes color. It used to do this on here as well, but it's 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 not really doing it on the sections that I applied the cleaner. This little section here, hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, I didn't apply the cleaner, and you can see it's you know it changes color because it's still buttery. So it took away the buttery effect. So I'm not really pleased with that. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend the tight wipes cleaner for suede. Um, but, in my honest opinion, I like my Crepitec cleaner the best. Jason Marks would be a close second. But, uh, I would probably just stick with the tight wipe wipes. Those will work great. Because those you can quickly just clean off like out midsoles, outsoles, leather, things of that nature. But for suede and that, I would not recommend it. It just changed the color too much. That's my final analysis, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I know this video was a little bit long, but on a scale of... Uh, to one to ten I'll probably give this a six because it did take out the stains but it modified the fabric and the color of the shoe so I'll give it about a five or six overall all right folks but with that being said it's your boy this is my sneakerhead a brother is out peace